ladies, we're going to uh, our next for our next uh, course of our day uh, dish. We're actually going to be preparing up our dessert, which is probably one of the easiest desserts that you possibly can probably prepare. It's going to be a combination of low-fat cream cheese. We have also our very own Greek style yogurt, which is Dannon's all natural plain yogurt. And we actually drain the yo yogurt through a large cheesecloth. And we use that as our uh, base for our desserts and things of that nature. So the next thing we're going to add to it is actually a little bit of pineapple extract and stevia. So that I'm going to add that to my. Um, cream cheese and yogurt mixture. So I'm basically now we're going to kind of mash that up and get that blended together. Once you get that blended together pretty well, you can use a blender with this one very easily. That's something that if you're doing a large serving or a large full recipe, then you of course would use a blender to do that with. But if you're doing just something small like single, a couple single servings, you can use this a bowl and a fork, that type of thing. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in our pineapple. You can take your pineapple and we, you can buy it can or fresh, whatever how you like it. You can chop it up or shred it up, whatever how you like to do it. To what size, mince it, put it in a food processor, get it really, really small. It's entirely up to you. And put add that to your mixture. That becomes, that adds a little bit more flavor to it. <coughs> Then what you're going to do is you're basically going to take your low-fat honey graham crackers, graham crackers, my tongues are getting tied, okay, you're going to line your pan with that, that you're because you want to freeze this. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to basically put it in the pan, like so, on top of the graham crackers. Alrighty, spread it out on top of them. If you're filling up your whole pan, it's entirely up to you how you do it. I didn't... What was the second ingredient in my cheese? Greek yogurt, uh, cream cheese, uh, pineapple extract, stevia, and crushed pineapple. Okay? So, after that, now that we have that, you're basically going to put this in the freezer and allow it to set. I line my pan with foil prior to doing it so that I can lift it out real easily. And this is what you actually have. So now what you can do is you just break it, break it in, you know, like where the graham crackers are at, and it will be ready to serve. And it is my actually no baked pineapple dream dessert. That's what I'm calling it today. Yeah, you don't bake it, and it's actually really, really has a really good flavor to it. Let me put on some gloves, and I'm going to show you exactly how that I do it. I l love making these for my granddaughter and my grandson. They love them. It's almost like having uh, ice cream because basically all you have to do is you're just going to kind of take it like so. Well, watch it not do it today for me. So you just basically break it and it becomes nice. You know, you have your little pieces there. And you, you know, little kids love that kind of thing. They actually love to break, you know, to be able to break things in half and, and actually do it in that direction. So you're just gonna break it up. And it is your, it becomes your dessert. Give it just a little bit of a clean up here. Just like so. And as you can see, this is our lovely dessert. Leave it whole, break it up, ever how you like it, but I guarantee you, you won't regret it. Thanks so much, everybody. Until next time, stay healthy.